What's going on all you Dragon Ball fans out there? That is right, we're going to be talking about the most epic story known to man! That is right everybody, if you guys do not know by now, well you should know if you're a fan by now, Dragon Ball Fighters is having a huge, huge battle with Sean Schimmel and Chris Sabbath, yes. And the whole point of this video is to figure out who will actually win in this match. So let's break it down a notch on who would actually be the champion here. Now, if Funimation does something similar like they did with another anime, which was a swimming competition for an anime show, I'm not sure what it's called, so don't don't hold me against that. But anyways, Vic McNonan literally was the one that was swimming against another guy named Todd, and uh, they they literally did exactly like the anime show. So they could go this route with this and say that Sean Shim was gonna win no matter what because he's Goku. And Chris Abbott is going to be the failure because he's Vegeta. Vegeta is always the one behind and never forward. So this could play out the same way as it does with DBZ, or they can actually have a real match, which it will definitely go to Chris Sabbath. As we all know, Chris Sabbath has been actually playing video games literally through Comic-Con. If you guys do not know, he is literally a gamer himself. He has been playing the Switch on the go. Now, that doesn't say anything about him playing, oh, well, he plays Zelda on the Switch and all, but he's not playing DBZ or fighter games. Technically, yes, that is true. He's not playing fighter games on the Switch when he was going to Comic-Con, but it doesn't mean that he hasn't played fighter games before. He's been playing at events. He even went to one of the com uh, Comic-Cons, which was, he was playing Xenoverse 2 against a guy. Yes, I'm not saying that he was the greatest out of that battle, but... Hey, guess what? He still has more experience than Sean Schimmel does in video games. Now, Sean Schimmel even said in one of, one of his uh, interviews that he is not a huge gamer. He does play games once in a while, but it, he doesn't play the games often. He's always doing other things, and he doesn't have the time to always do what he wants to do. So, that's why he has a busy schedule. I know Chris Savage said he has a busy schedule, but that was like a sarcastic joke in his challenge, of course. So, the way I see it is they're both busy, but at the same time, Chris Savage always has an advantage of playing video games over Sean Shimmel. So, the way I see it is this. Chris Sabbath will win the match no matter what because he has more experience in the game. But, like I said, if Funimation wants to play it out exactly the way they did with this other anime for their competition, then it definitely will go to Sean Schimmel no matter what. So, anyways guys, let me know in the comments down below who you think will actually win in the competition. Who you think it will be Chris Sabbath or Sean Schimmel? Now, I know I was looking towards Chris Sabbath on the competition Literally saying that he's a better gamer than Sean Schimmel, but it doesn't mean that fully that he's going to be good at this game no matter what. I'm just saying he has more experience in the game than he does with Sean Schimmel. Now, Sean Schimmel could be playing the game right now, and we don't even know about this, and then he's going to go against Chris Sabbath and win instantly. But I'm just saying that Funimation could play it out just like the anime did, or they could actually have a real match, and we can see Sean Schimmel uh, losing against Chris Sabbath. We don't know the result right now until the real match comes, but I just want to know what you guys think for this match coming on the 25th of January. So, let me know in the comments down below, guys, what you guys think, and I'll see you in the next Dragon Ball Talks. That's right. Anyways, guys, peace out, everybody. Have a great day.